Now, dare I do this? This is a comparison between Genesis Junction, Upset, and Loke Royal, the original rude, uh, rude boy skin edge shoe, and so worn by quite a few mods as well. So let's let's go over here and start the comparison. I'm comparing these and bringing it to your attention for several reasons. These two pairs of shoes are the exact reasons I started my shoes. I was looking at a pair of these and I was looking at a pair of these and I couldn't work out online what was better than the other. Now not necessarily better, but what was right for my need, you know, kind of what was the ultimate one. This pair here, Delicious Joke and Upsetter, retails now at £80 and I'll show you why in a minute. This one here retails at £154.50 or there or thereabouts. For Dillis's Junction, yeah, they come with the yellow laces, it's shiny, and if you turn it round, you'll notice that the toe is a bit more square. If I bring in the loke, you'll notice, let's try and get them nice and sharp for you, is rounder. Now let's try, I'm going to have to put one of these down so I can show you bits and pieces, but let's take you through a few things. Let's get right in there. The pattern on the Dillis's uh, Junction upset one is more, there's more of it here. This is obviously trying to evoke an early 70s shoe. I wouldn't say it's as wide as, say, Frank, uh, Frank Wright, which is, you know, like a more square box like affair. But it's, it's very evo evocative of a skin edge, early 70s skin edge shoe. Um, comes with yellow laces and various bits. I mean, it's, you know, it's got the um, leather sole as well. Just to go with the Loke. Loke, again, I would say. I'm brutally honest, the detailing is a bit better on the Loke. It's a quality shoe. It's a little bit heavier. And like the Upsetter, it's got a leather sole. The one thing about these Lokes, let me just see if I can do that. They are tough, super tough. They're proper heavy. They're magnificent on the dance floor. I wear them at Stoke All Nights and various other things I go to. They're, they're proper, proper shoe. But, Let's get back to comparing them again. So why? Why? What is the difference? Let's just get some real close-ups. Let's see if we can get that. Let me do it that way. See if we get it. If you look on the leather the detailing, if I'm being brutally honest, the detailing, the holes on the loke are just that tiny bit sharper, but not by much. You can see, obviously, it's a bit more rounder rather than squarer, and it's got a different pattern. So there you are. Look, you can see that the pattern's different. Both are wing-tipped in that Hold on, let's just hold it. This bit goes all the way to the back. So, yeah, wingtips, classic wingtips. Likewise, they do the same. Now, I'm just going to put them on my feet. So, if we go to the foot shop, as we call it here, the upsetter is slightly narrower. In that, if you've got a fat foot, you're going to have to go for the lobes. Why? This bit here. If you've got a high instep, it's, it's relatively tight. It's, it's a tighter shoe. So consequently, it makes it look more compact. But the problem you've got is if you've got a fat foot like I have, it's tight there. On the other hand, the Logue is obviously made for us older gentlemen, shall we say. <laughs> and so consequently, there's more room here. Yeah? Now, if you look, you can see that that one is, is wider there. So it's rounder. Can you see that the distance there compared to the distance there, this is smaller, this is wider. So if you're a little thin chap, smashing, if you're a little bit tubsy like me, these are the better ones. So, can you see it's rounded there? Consequently, when you put it on, for me, the Loke is going to win. But the Loke's going to win, and it's twice the price. <laughs> so, a shorter time both on, you know, together at the same time, you know, I would have gone for this. Now, I do need to draw your attention. I'm just going to show you some other shoes. So, this is Junction have just changed their thing. Can we go to that one, Luke, please? They've changed their sole now, so it's what's called Goodyear welted. So, if I just slip off the, the Loke, this is the Loke, and this is the Delicious Junction upsetter, and it's now called the Royal. So, it's obviously trying to be evocative, that's the word, of the two shoes. You notice that the one is square, this is square again on the sole at the bottom, whereas this is more rounded. It's obviously got there, let me show you that, but it consequently, it makes it a very tough shoe. Now, I can't, 
I haven't worn these out, so I don't know what they're like on the dance floor. They're literally coming out this this month. We've got them for sale on the site. Again, it's it's much the same. It's exactly the same in the, the, the square. It's obviously the same, what we call the last. In other words, the shape, the way the lever is cut, and how it's cut out, stamped out, is the same as the upset over there. The only difference being, it's got a much tougher sole. These Goodyear welted soles last literally ages, which neatly brings me back to these. Uh, the Lope, we have a client. He's worn these every day since November. That's now eight months ago. And it's barely, barely worn around here. It's like, and he's worn them literally every day to work, from work, and he's worn them everywhere. Even then, he gets loads of nice remarks. Where do you get them lovely shoes? And he keeps them in tip top condition. But the sole has lasted forever. So if he was asking me the question, what's better, I'd be very hard pushed because if your budget's tight, then obviously the upsetter, you know, is a way to go because it's so much. Let me just get the other one. The upsetter is much more cost effective, whereas the Loke is twice the price. Is it twice the shoe? Ooh. I don't. I don't want to make that call. Cool. It's a good shoe. If money's no object, go for the Loke. If you're on a tight budget and you're going to wear these once in the blue moon, wear the upsetter. Um, it's as simple as that. They're both good shoes. If one's going to, if there was a race, the Loke is going to win just a bit. So I. I hope that helps. It would have helped me two years ago when I was trying to buy a pair. So, thanks guys. That's the Loke and the Upsetter Brogue.